Namaste. Welcome to our new series, Being Light. Welcome, Sister Shivani. Om Shanti. Thank you so much. Om Shanti. Thank you for agreeing to have a conversation and discuss some of the issues related to the workplace that we professionals face on a daily basis. Well, I know that most of these issues are not straightforward. They are not if then else kind of uh, issues. But what I'm looking for from these conversations is some new insights, new perspectives. And is there a new lens that we can use to both relook, rethink, and review? what we are facing on a day-to-day -day basis. There is a certain change in vocabulary that is required. Most of us are using words like corporate stress, work-related stress, stress at office. Now, all these words, very deep, deep words, because any word used repeatedly is also creating a programming of the mind and the intellect. Yes. So every time I, as an individual, we as a team, and then the collective consciousness of the world. So these have become vocabulary of the world. So irrespective of which country or city we are, we have started creating a belief system that it's a work-related stress. It's an office stress. It's a corporate stress. Now the word is saying that the stress is there. The stress is in that place where I have to go every day. The stress is because of that place. The stress is at that place. And something has to happen there for me to feel light. Yes. To be easy, to be relaxed. Because what I'm experiencing today, all the turbulence, the heaviness, is because of that place. Then I looked at options to change places. I changed countries. I changed cities. Thinking I would find some workplace where I could be more at ease, at calm and comfortable, but I'm sure that did not give the result. You know, so I could be in a town in India, then from the town I could shift to a bigger city, or I could shift to another country, or I could go backwards. In fact, just a couple of years back, I was in the valley, Silicon Valley, and in one of the organizations, the person started with a very beautiful experience that he shared. And he said, I come from a simple village mm -hmm. in Andhra Pradesh. And when I was in that village, I was happy. And then I shifted to Hyderabad into the IT industry. And then I was stressed. And now I am at Silicon Valley in one of the big names there. And now I'm extremely stressed. So I just looked at him and I say, now you are talking all this on television and all the people sitting in India who think that it's going to be more comfortable and happy if we were able to get an opportunity to work there. You know, so it's not about where we are. That's something we really, really, because that itself puts the mind at ease. It's not about which country, which city, which organization, which team or which senior I'm working with. So one thing that we need to change today, right at the beginning of this series is that the vocabulary needs to change. Because when we speak, when we think, the first person who's listening is me. Yes. So my words are getting programmed first on my intellect. And what gets programmed here then comes out in words tomorrow. You know, and then that becomes a very, 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 very deep affirmation and reaffirmation. And then that becomes my reality because it's become my affirmation. My affirmations manifest. So then that's my reality. And then that becomes my destiny. The workplace can have issues because nothing is going to be perfect the way I want it to be. I could have issues with people that I'm working with, but then I also have issues with people I'm living with. I can also have issues with my family, with my friends. So things are there. When I try to change those people or those situations, I don't get too much success. 
in fact the mind gets tired because the mind is trying to do something which is not possible let's say i'm working with you and my issue is something about you so you're my team member or you're my senior and i was like this person is the cause of my stress why you're the cause of my stress because you are doing something or behaving in a certain way which is not comfortable for me yeah. so every time you are that way i create some uncomfortable thoughts what gives me the pain the pain or the stress so what gives me the stress or the pain is how i think about you now i can keep thinking that way every hour every day for the last 5 years or 10 years and so my mind says who is the cause of my stress the first name that comes on my list is you and then i have many yous like that and now the first thing that we need to change today is understanding very very deep understanding that the cause of my stress is in the way i think about situations and people that's one fundamental that's where spirituality helps that who is the creator of my thoughts and feelings i said you are the cause of my stress for somebody else i said they are irritating for another person i said he is the cause of the pain in my life you know this vocabulary is a very depleting vocabulary because it gives the power from me to people when i say they are the cause of what i feel here this line is a depleter so what you're saying is you cannot control the stimulus that comes from outside of you what you have in control is your response it's your choice completely right it's your choice yes. so we are not saying that the stimulus is perfect or the best yeah. no it's not yeah. but the reality is also that i cannot change the stimulus stimulus exactly and i think we've tried enough yes and we don't even need to go to work for that first try and change the stimulus at home you know so that's where we'll realize that how futile this exercise is yeah even at home just select the person closest to you select your child who could have some habit some behavioral pattern which doesn't match your perception of right correct and you don't want your child to be that way now that's where reality needs to hit that my child when we say my child the only person in the world who has been with me right from the second they were born which means the deepest influence because your spouse also you will meet after 25 or 30 years but your child is that only one person on whom you have the deepest influence because that soul is with you right from its first second of birth even that child is not according to your way and here you're going to interact at work through the day children from different families yes with different parents different cultures different upbringing everything is different and we want them to be our way very interesting perspectives you uh, bring in so this reminds me of uh, what viktor frankl the austrian psychologist was talking about he says between every stimulus and response there is a space yeah. and in that space i have choice yeah. i have the freedom to choose and in my choice lies my happiness yeah. or sorrow yeah. success or failure right so what you are saying is as a part of this being light conversations we are going to focus that light that internal light towards that space remind us of the freedom that we have the choices that we can make in any given situation because i can take away everything again going back to what victor frankl was saying i can take away everything from you yeah. your name your fame your possessions even your clothes yeah. but one thing that i can never take away from you is your freedom to choose your response in any situation and that freedom to choose the response is our power yes that's power see yes. so let's take a very simple situation you are behaving a certain way mm-hmm. 
it may be absolutely incorrect according to my definition of right but when I remember this line I have the freedom to choose how I'm going to think about you feel about you speak to you and behave so that's all my response no response is not just how I'm going to behave that's again a very important factor so here in this series we are not going to be talking only about our words and behavior because sometimes I can behave perfect with you mm -hmm. but if I'm not thinking perfect yeah. I'll again not be comfortable I won't be happy I won't be light so when we say response it has to start here Correct. once it's taken care here this is taken care of but if it's only taken care here, this is not taken care of. Yeah. So if I behave perfect, it's not necessary my thoughts and feelings will be perfect. But if my thoughts and feelings are perfect, my behavior cannot go wrong. So every time we say response, we'll focus here. And now when I know that I have the freedom to choose my response, it gives me power. Yes. But when I believe that you are the creator of what I'm feeling here it makes me powerless, it makes me helpless, it makes me believe that my life, you know when we say my life is a mess today, so what is life? Life is not here, hmm. life is here, this energy, this yeah. is life, when this energy leaves we are dead, so the life is here, so when we say lens it is how I perceive you. Yes. how I think about you so this is amazing power once we realize this power life will change 360 degrees so if we turn the light inside let's check how we are using the lens and are we cleaning it on a regular basis and are we keeping it in such a state so that it shows the reality and not necessarily what I think should be the reality. First color on the lens, which is very deep rooted today, is blame. It's a filter of blame. Yes. Once I have a filter of blame, I can blame the world for everything. So I say, you are the cause of my anger. Someone else is the cause of my hurt. A third person is cause of my being upset, my sorrow. Somebody else is the cause of my irritation. Everything outside is the cause of how I'm feeling here. This is a filter of blame. And this filter then changes quality of life completely. So it could start from a simple thing like traffic in the morning to work to crisis at work or to behaviors of people at work, or to government policies, or to economy, to the weather, to sensex, to everything, because there's so much out in the world and everything is unpredictable. Yes. So even if I have a certain element of certainty today saying like, okay, this is how it is, tomorrow morning it can be different. So outside is going through its ups and downs, and we are living in times of uncertainty. So when outside is unpredictable and inside is also unpredictable, which means I don't know how you will behave and second, I don't know how I will respond to how you will behave, then life is a mess. Because one, I can't control you, how you will behave, but bigger thing is that I cannot control or guarantee that I will respond the right way. So both the worlds are not in my control. Outer world and inner world, both are not in my control. The day I start feeling both are not in my control, life will become very difficult because it's a very powerless feeling. And this creates fear, this creates insecurity. Insecure, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. The predominant emotion today if I just say like 10 years back when I used to meet people and now 10 years back people would say stress and anger and all. Nowadays predominant emotion is fear. Yeah. Very predominant. Yes. And fear without a reason. You know, and you ask them, Ke, baat kya hai? what is the reason? Then they will say, Koi baat nahi hai. there is no problem. And initially I was wondering, how can anybody have fear without an issue? Mm -hmm. You know, without... 
but it's an emotion that is getting created because of this daily experience yeah. of two worlds outside and inside both are not in my control so i am very fearful what tomorrow holds for me and that tomorrow could be my next hour you know yeah. so what it holds for me so yes the outer world is not in my control yes the outer world is unpredictable it's not as smooth as it used to be today if you leave for work in the morning your gps could show one hour to go to work and you think you're very certain that you will reach there in one hour and you feel very in control that yes i'm certain i will reach at nine and then suddenly after 20 minutes your gps says no it's going to take you one and a half hour it's gone yes. so the outer world with the best of technology and the best of comforts is still not in our control while this is understood that the outer world is not in my control I still face them on a daily basis. Exactly. So I'll walk you through some of these situations. The first thing that we need to do is, even before we see the situation, take care of the first filter and that is the blame. Okay. It's a journey. It will happen gradually. Yeah. But everybody listening right now can start it right today. You know, that the mind will work towards its own earlier old programming of Correct. they are the cause of my this yeah. let everything remain the same nothing will change let the outer situation be difficult let your emotion be disturbed doesn't matter we are not expecting that much change on the first day yeah. just the vocabulary needs to change from they are the cause of my feeling to I am creating this feeling only that much you are saying accept it as a feature when even that is secondary first first filter acceptance will be the next filter first filter is to replace blame with personal responsibility which means even if you've not accepted even if you're all chaotic inside just say i am creating this chaos but don't you think when i start taking responsibility for all the things that are happening outside as it is, as a part of my conditioning, today I am weak. I am exhausted. I am not taking responsibility of the things that are happening outside. I am taking responsibility of how I am feeling about the things that is happening outside. Two things are completely Very good. different. Is there any practice that you suggest which can take me into that mode of thinking where I can start taking the responsibility from a position of strength. If you look at it, a uh, same situation, mm -hmm. let's say that same traffic yeah. or a same issue at work, yeah. same situation, five people mm -hmm. will not respond the same way. Correct. Hmm? So in that same traffic jam, getting late, even maybe for a flight, mm -hmm. leave alone a meeting at work, somebody will be absolutely out of control in here Correct. someone can be just agitated and anxious yes. someone could be shouting at the driver and blaming the driver for something a fourth person could come out of the car frantic and you know trying to move everything around but creating more chaos in the process fifth person will say okay now let's wait and watch what's going to happen uh, we left on time but okay. okay sixth person will just close their eyes relax and just keep their mind very centered and focused prepared for what the situation has to unfold because they are not driving the car so Correct. they really can't do much about how the car is going to navigate so they know that they cannot control the traffic but they take responsibility of keeping this very centered ready for what the next situation is going to be yeah. six different options which gives the proof that the outer situation does not decide my inner response. Leave alone six people, take the same person on two different days, mm -hmm. in two different moods, moods yeah. will respond differently. differently. So leave alone comparing your response with other people, compare your response with yourself on another day. Absolutely. Yeah. So one is if I leave for work in the morning, and I had a very beautiful time with my family in the morning. 
and probably we came up with some things and you know it was just I'm in the best state of my mind and I'm stuck in traffic my response will be different different yes but if I left my home in a different mode probably after an argument or a something which I saw about my child which is really disturbing me and now I'm stuck in traffic my response will be different correct simple truth which I need to tell myself every single day hmm. I am the creator of the response I remind myself about this truth that I, I create my experience moment by moment yes would be the first step to move into the position of strength which then helps me decide what kind of response to I need to give yeah. to the particular situation based on what the situation comes in front yeah, of me. Unless I know something is in my control, yes. the second option of choosing how to control it doesn't come up, right? Exactly. Because it's it seems simple, it's yeah. very simple while we're talking, yeah. but our belief system is very, very, very deep, yeah. very deep. You know how it started? When we were kids and let's say this table was here mm -hmm. and just as a two-year-old or a three-year-old child, I was walking around the table and I hit the table and I got hurt. But what would my mummy papa say? My mummy papa say, oh, table ne tumko mara. And I, the child, was very happy that it was the table which was the cause of my pain. Yes. But they were trying to be very sweet and nice to me at that time. Yeah. But deep belief system that it was not your wrong way of walking, it was the table which was in the way. So table ko mara, tumko kuch nahi bola. This sounds very, very childish, but actually these are where belief systems were created in us. Correct. And we are carrying very deep belief systems. And then of course we saw elders around us yeah. being happy with certain behaviors of us, getting upset with behaviors. Deep programming, we saw teachers, we saw adults, and we grew up in a world seeing that people's responses were dependent on situations and behaviors of other people. So it's a very, 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 probably the deepest programming. And it is out of this programming that all the issues are stemming out. Very, very important. It's actually out of this deepest programming that all issues are stemming out. So every morning, at least say once to yourself, I am the creator of my every thought, feeling, word, and behavior. I am the creator. The minute I say I am the creator, the circuit gets completed. This is power. But the minute I say you are the cause, finished. So that one line shifts us from being powerless to being extremely powerful. Yes. Now it could be the traffic jam because this is my equation of life. You know, like when we went for an exam, it was that first equation which made all the difference. If my first equation was not correct, I can take pages and pages after that. And I thought I did very well in my exam because I took five supplements to complete the answer. And then I got no marks because my first line was wrong. So when my first line is that people and situation are the cause, I can take supplements after supplements of family life, personal life, professional life, social life, and I will get answers nowhere. And when I change the first equation to I am the creator, not just in a traffic jam, I am the creator with a colleague who's pulling me down. I am the creator if all my hard work of five years has just washed down today. I am the creator if I lose my job today. I am the creator if I'm diagnosed with a terminal illness today. I am the creator even if a very close family member dies today. I am the creator of my response. That's how powerful it is. So it's the equation fits in every problem of life. So to add to it, what you're saying is if I lose a job or somebody who's close to me has diagnosed with terminal illness, I am the creator of the response to that situation. Yes. Because how the situation transpires is not in my control. But to respond to an already transpired situation, if I remind myself that I am the creator, I have the power, then I start working from a position of strength rather than from a position of weakness and stop developing 
this victim consciousness. So shifting from being a victim to being a master, master. of first of my mind, my life. So I've shifted from nothing in my control to everything in my control. And when I am the master and powerful, then my state of being will also start influencing the situation. Good. Um, that was a very good start, Sister Shivani. Let's uh, explore this as we move forward. So let everyone take it up as a little exercise. That first thing in the morning, these are simple a little preparation of the mind before we set out for Correct. the day. Correct. So it's like a reprogramming, mm -hmm. changing old ways of thinking. So first few minutes, just say this to yourself, feel it, fit it into any situation that happened the previous day where you went through a little up and down and just say this to yourself gradually again and again, irrespective of the situation, independent of the people's behavior, I am the creator. I right. am the master. I am powerful. Everything here is my choice. I am in control. Just creating this energy early morning is going to shift you from here to here in terms of our own vibrations. So if we say this, this is first stage of meditation also actually, yes. that if we do these few thoughts in the morning, then during the day that becomes our vocabulary. Then every hour pause for a minute and say it. Very soon, the programming will change. Very good. Thank you. Om Shanti.